Ho ho, you're about to listen to another Nintendo podcast, episode 11. Unfortunately, our friend Andrew Watson's microphone was not working properly, and so we had to scrap his audio. Uh, myself, Austin, and Danny all still comment and give our reactions to the latest Nintendo Direct, and we hope you can still enjoy it. Um, and we apologize as we're still pretty new at this and getting out the kinks. So enjoy the episode. Um, it still runs pretty well. And thanks for listening. All right. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll, boys. Hello and welcome to another Nintendo podcast. I am your host, Austin Cummings. Today I'm joined... Uh, by me, myself, and I, uh, solo ride until I die. <laughs> I'm joined by uh, Matt Schultz. Hey, it's me. He got my name. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Matt. We're joined by Andrew Watson. And Return of the New Boy, Danny, Thank introduce us to your last again. name again. Thank you again. Great Tortellini. To see you guys. <laughs> Tortelli. Tortellini. Tortellini. You know it. You love it. You know You know ravioli. You know linguine. Uh, okay, wonderful. Boys, it's great to have great to have you here. And we are here on really uh, an exciting night. The Nintendo Direct was today, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So we're here to kind of break down what happened and uh, talk about things we liked and things we want to see and just kind of go from there. But before we begin, we're kind of all stuck on a little photo. Does anyone kind of tell us kind of where our mind, our MySpace is at, where our head's at, or MySpace.com? Yeah, everyone should do themselves a favor and uh, <laughs> log on to the Smash Brothers website. Go to the Assist Trophy section, and the very first one is going to be our favorite character on the sh- of the show, probably Crystal. I don't know. Not for the right reason. I don't know her last name. (laughs) Nintendo has decided to put a very scandalous photo, uh, screenshot of of her and Fox. Um, Right. Look, look, we're making a PSA right here. Okay. This is not the first time this happened. And we got to say, Sakurai, we appreciate the work you're doing for us. You're putting in the time, the effort. We got a lot of modes. We got a lot of characters. But there are a lot of these photos on this website where one character is is looking at the booty of another character. (laughs) We've seen it a few times with Snake. We've seen it with Zero Suit Samus. Probably poor Peach in there in the mix. Put them, give this. We fit trainer, of course. Your anapomorphic foxes, uh, <laughs> just which, right. which? So we're really taking a big stand here. Another Nintendo podcast says no more to objectifying poor Crystal. Let's go ahead, give that, give her a jacket, get the suit. Right, right. I'm, I'm and, glad you said that. I was talking to Matt about this earlier. I was like, you can literally give her the same. You know, I, the argument could be, oh, well, she's most famous from Star Fox Adventures. Fine, right? Um, you know, the, could the be, staff could be is well known. Fine. You could literally Fine. give her the same. Keep the physique. staff. You can give her the same physique, but put her jacket on from Star Fox Assault. Put her like, put clothes on her. Like she, no, just put her back she, in the crystal. Her, Let her float her around that. Just nice boots. She's crystal. got a hike at the court. You, you know, you, you're out there and you're, she's <laughs> kicking. She's using the staff. I'm with you. It's like you know what? She's been look. She's been working out and she has. And she lives outdoors. It would make sense. The physique. Fine, but let her let her bundle up a little bit, you know. No, just kind of let her be. Flaunt it if you got it. That's well, so what it I. Like, that's already, what I'm I got I gotta admit, as much as I love Star Fox Adventures, it was kind of weird. Like, you know, looking back on it, you're like, that didn't have to happen. Like, she didn't have to be right. Like, he just flat. oogles that poor girl, and and she's like in stasis. She like isn't aware, you know. Yeah. She's like, look, I'm just like this indigenous yes. dinosaur you're planet make, person. Making I don't a big know any fuss better. about this, but Minda isn't even wearing any clothes. She's just got a little hat okay, on. Okay, Minda is <laughs> Minda is an is an imp <laughs> with one eye and a giant mask on. Um, <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Yes, yeah, so let's let's get a roll right. She is she is royal too. We should respect that. Um, so yeah, yeah well, like that, okay. Thought, thank you everyone for joining us. That is the end of the podcast. We do want to talk about one other thing besides Crystal, and that is the Nintendo Direct. So yes. uh, today we agreed to what about thirty minutes, boys, of this direct. Yeah, we yeah, enjoyed it. Let's go gut. Okay, right off the cuff, everybody, go around one to five, one to five stars, one to five moons. Okay. Okay. And no halves. What would you give it, Andrew? Out of five, what would you give it? Moons specifically. Okay, and it goes three. Danny? Oh man, I feel like I should go last. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a four point <laughs> zero. No, I just no okay. I said four no, point zero. It has to be full full integers only. That's a straight you know this is the integer podcast. <laughs> okay. Uh, Matt's just cheating the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five. So there we go. Uh, Danny, come in and crush me. Give it a two. Uh you, you know, if because I have to round, I'm gonna say three. I was gonna say two and a half, but because I have to round, I'm gonna go three. All right, I like it. There's some dissenting opinion. Um 
Uh, let, then let's kind of get into why why we felt that way. So we'll just to, to recap what we got. Sakurai looking fine, looking a little a little meager. We hope he hope he's all right. He came out and he kind of talked a little bit about. We talked about some characters that were announced. We talked about uh, kind of some stages, the number of music tracks, the number of the hours of recorded music, how the number of tracks uh, compares to previous games. A little bit about HP fights and the like, all those type of metrics. Um, but really. Uh, in the mix what was everyone's kind of biggest takeaway what was our favorite part let's start with that wow favorite matt oh go go for oh. it Andrew. take it uh, okay well i was gonna say um i specifically enjoy the music for me that's that's huge when the the, the first the last two games all the music features that they had in it, I, I just loved kind of going through and playing each one. And specifically in the last game, yeah. I actually messed around a lot with like where I would put music or how much music I wanted to play in certain places. Um, and I was like really obsessed with the Luigi Mansion theme song, especially the one from uh, Smash 4's, no, excuse me, Brawls. <laughs> Everyone will remember. Yeah. Brawls. Uh, a fine vintage. It was good. I had for a while the Professor E. Gad ringtone as like my iPhone ringtone. Very Jose Otero so it's like that you. And it's killed it for me. I can't ever listen to it again. I, that thing. It was like my alarm waking up. I'm sure my roommate at the time really appreciated it, but it's a good tune. I'm with you. I do I do appreciate all the music, and I will say that the I did think it was kind of fun how classic it's like one random feature nobody ever one weird trick that nobody ever asked for being like the oh you can use your switch and put it in sleep mode and still listen to the tracks in this one and like walk around as if it's just yeah, like a giant a iPhone. Big like, I, yeah, iPod. there's like no there's no practical functionality to that. Like the switch is so huge, everybody can do this on their phone. I I was wondering when they were making that announcement if he was gonna say like it's like putting it on your phone which is of course where all of us listen to music but instead they're like oh your your media player a music player yes exactly like it's just like it's just, it's the same size as your sony walkman like what's the big deal yeah that, it's the same that size is, as your that, zoom. Is, that was a classic nintendo moment where you're sitting there going nobody is gonna do that why did they <laughs> put that put, in there put all the tracks up on you know what i really need to take for... all of my nintendo music everywhere i go i just gotta jam out on the way to work so <laughs> worst part is you had part, you, social events parties meeting new people i thought the, that was the um, troll know, when she was putting the headphones on slowly i thought oh this is a fortnite esque like reveal of a, a much better like online chat solution i'm like she just plugs it in and it's gonna work it's gonna be great no, no it was wired headphones to listen to music uh, which by the way that's <laughs> right. still an issue trying to listen to anything via bluetooth headphones on a switch can't do right. so. or heaven forbid talk to another All player we still have no solution for that movement with the switch pro or the switch 2 whatever it's called down the road. right uh, yeah we have video incoming on that new leak switch pro switch 2 xl <laughs> uh mini micro the um Yes, agreed on that front. I, it is just so it is so classic of the uh, of, of our of our boys at the big end, but particularly for this game. Okay, Andrew, what was your highlight of bes- choosing besides the music? Okay, walk us through. Who now? Let's let's talk. Who do we get? Who do we get today? Well, okay, actually, wait. Sorry, sorry. Before we do, let's go around. Does anyone remember their predictions from yesterday? Let's kind of see how they all shook out. Because I think we all agreed three characters. Isn't that kind of what we all guessed? Except for Danny. DT was really just cranking it out. It's just like every every character in the Sony the Sony library was going to be there. <laughs> I'm talking Nathan Drake. I'm talking Cole from Infamous. I'm talking God of Kratos' son only. No Kratos. Wow. Artreus. I clearly could have um, doubled my list. <laughs> but I, I think we chose, I chose three, two Echoes, one one Freshy, stay fresh. Now Danny, you, Danny got so, King K. Rule, right? Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, like in hindsight, I feel like I feel like everyone should have seen that coming, though, because it's like he like he fits so well. He's another heavyweight character. He's a Nintendo first party player. Well, I love they introduce um, him as like uh, you probably were expecting this, and, yeah, and they and they said that too. I remember watching the direct. <laughs> uh, I feel like he was like the one that like I shouldn't get that much credit for. Oh, they uh, were saying. I'm sorry. They no, were Danny, they were saying it, that buddy. you earned this. You put in the work, <laughs> and now it's finally time it. to be rewarded yeah. for it. <laughs> I think they, um, no, Sakurai I came on and said that about um, zero. Uh, Dark Samus and uh, um, yeah. what was the other character uh, she was revealed with? Uh, oh, okay. Chrome. So, um, and that's when he was like, "You guys, you were probably expecting this, and this was a highly <laughs> or heavily requested character." Did you guys Google Chrome. Think Dark the, Samus was going to be a whole new character, or do you just think it was going to be? Like I said a yesterday change? in the pod, if you dial it back, I'd like to see Dark Samus as an Echo. It's just like another villain character, you know. So I guess to just recap, we got Simon, 
as a new character, Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Yeah, yeah. Castlevania won on the NES. We got Richter uh, as well, Seventeen the Night character. Uh, we have, he's an echo of Simon. We got Crom, who is an echo of whom? Who is Crom an echo? Is it another Marth? Another Marth echo? Sure. It's what, it's it's the... What's the... Well, Lucina is no, no Lucina is an echo of Marth, and I think Krom is as well. Oh, I thought she was a, she was a no. I thought one. she was an echo of Lucina. I thought Lucina was her own, but you're right. Lucina is also an echo. Yeah, Marth. Yeah. There's three Marth. Echoes <laughs> Listen, this now. is another Nintendo podcast, and I'm hosting. So yes, of course I am correct <laughs> on this Lucina being a, the yeah okay. Because also we know spoilers ahead for Fire Emblem Awakening, that pivotal uh, 3DS 2011 or so game. But uh, Lucina is Krom's child, so it would stand to reason that they would have the same moveset. It's kind of father and daughter is kind of hashing it out on the old sparring, which I know is experience all four of us had with our with our dads going out there and it's kind of you know. Sorry, we have an image pulled up of all of them like next to each it's other. It's just so it's, many. It's just and at one point I'm there like, are seven characters. Is that Marth? No, I know that's so, Marth. No, maybe that. Like, seven, just to get through our list. Are there seven Pokemon? Two Castlevania. Star Fox characters. Well, Pokemon makes seven. it. Fire Emblem is a huge <laughs> game. <for laughs> we have a lot. Okay, so. Before we get to that, though, just to f- finish, to to Castlevania, we have uh, we then have Dark Samus, we have Krom, and then we also have King K. Rool. So yes, let's talk about Fire Emblem because we're getting right into that. We now have seven characters, but here's the thing that really gets me. So yeah, there was a funny article listed on Kotaku that was like, "Hey, there are way- breaking news: are way too many Fire Emblem characters in this game," and I can definitely see the argument for it. Also, when you consider that there's like male and female versions of both Robin and, and also of Corin, you know. For another character, that almost would be an echo, right? It's like a total different skin yeah. for a single character. So it's like there's just the number of single characters we have is a lot. Granted, it's still seven. Now, a lot of the comments in there were like, oh, well, actually, like there are 17 Fire Emblem games or what have you. But we have had far fewer of those that actually have come to the United States. And I think the bigger thing for me is like all of those characters, they feel as if they span like four games. Like, it just isn't, even though there are a lot of Fire Emblem characters, it's like, okay, when we get down to it, uh, Krom, Marth, in a sense, and Lucina, and Robin. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see that. But even Roy, we're saying Roy and Marth, basically the same. (laughs) Obviously, Roy is, like, a little more powerful. Tip of his sword is, what, the powerful point, whereas Marth is, like, the length, right? Isn't that how it works? Or is it backwards? No, they don't have this. They have the same thing. Okay, Roy can do a big explosion and Marth cannot. But besides that, it's the same. Marth charges forward. Roy charges down. Look, I don't want to fight you, but I would. I would willingly. I would. I would go down for this. The um. <laughs> do it. Okay. Settle it and smash, in smash, guys. Come on. And smash, settle and smash, baby. Okay, they have the same move set, so we're agreeing on that. Okay. Unless you've played these games before. You've played Melee before. Can you, either of you, Danny or Matt, chime in? I, I know so little about these characters okay. outside of their actual I'm talking games. about Smash. I'm talking about Smash. In the game of Smash, you're familiar with the game of this game. Yeah, what's, yes. What? Yes. I mean, I've, I, I, I don't main as these guys at all. Um, and actually, when any of my old roommates would play as them... Um, most of them, actually, I lied. I lied. Lucina, I do play every now and then. Um, and I do, I do enjoy Lucina. Corrin and it definitely Corrin yeah. is like overpowered in Smash 4. So OP, um, love it. Uh, it's half dragon, all it's OP. Just absurd. And I hate when my roommates play as Corrin. Overpowered in the actual Fire Emblem game, too. <laughs> really? Um, so yeah, he's good. He, or she. Yeah, I've never actually played a Fire Emblem game. So I, yeah, I it's just like a lot. That. I really do love Fire Emblem. It's just a lot of characters in the same game. That's kind of the thing that's kind of getting well, me. And yeah. also, it's like you don't have anyone with an axe or a lance or that is a mountain. Well, four of or, the Fire Emblem like, so characters are dots. all from, like, in the last four years, five years of Fire Emblem games. I mean, the most recent <laughs> yeah, it games definitely feels like Corn, Robin, Krom, and Messina. So that's what seems like a lot to me, especially when you've gotten new franchises or older franchises that still don't have a lot of characters like Donkey Kong, but, I mean, that's kind of been solved. Look at all the slots they're taking up for ARMS characters. What? Oh, God. Right. Right. <laughs> I know. Hey, we still got more to come. Okay, yeah, so a lot of Fire Emblem characters. I think we're all in agreement to that. It'd be great to see some other types of characters, but please, yeah, maybe just no more, even though it's, like, fine, but I think that was the one most forgettable character for me, at the very least, was, like, this is not a character I feel like I need. I mean, cr- Crom did have that great uh, scene at the end of uh, his first reveal in Smash 4. Remember? Where he's like, oh, maybe some other day or something like that. <laughs> he's like, I'll, I'll get in the fight later, yeah, boys. Yeah, and everyone was like, oh. So, I mean, it wasn't that big of a reveal when, you know, hey, he's a 
Echo Fighter, but it was cool to see him in. And yes, I think we should close the door on Fire Emblem for now. And bring, <laughs> open, open the door for arms. Let them all in. Let them all spring their way over. I, know, I, I would agree. Okay, Dark Samus, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Never even played a Metroid yeah, thumbs game. Up. Looks, I'm ready to play as what I would, Samus. What I do like about Dark Samus 2 is like, we've talked about this before on the podcast, but I've always wanted for Samus the alternate outfits to be different suits that she wears, mm. and they've never done it. They always get like, get halfway there. It's the colors, yeah, the, the colors, suit itself yeah. doesn't look any different. Right, right. And this is finally like an actually like, oh, here's the different suit. Like this could have been her dark suit. Instead, it's like this character will have their own co- colors. I think that is neat. So big thumbs up for me on that one. Richter thing is cool. As an echo as well. I, I think it's cool just in the sense of like, I think realistically, we're only going to get one Castlevania character. And so anything beyond that's going to be an echo. Like I don't see a reality where we're getting Dracula or others. I think it's cool that Alucard is the cis trophy. I think it... I know. Well, they put so much work into everything that people will never touch in this game. That's the, that's the <laughs> hallmark of Smash Bros. And then I do like like all the different monsters. I will say this. Watching like the Dracula's Castle thing where it's like, okay, there's death and there's Frankenstein's monster and there's uh, Dracula himself. It made me a little more... As someone who loves Castlevania and has uh, played each one, the it makes me... It, seeing that context for like the boss character on a stage, which I did not enjoy in the Wii U one, I didn't enjoy fighting Ridley, I didn't enjoy fighting Yellow Devil on the Mega Man stage. It does make me actually a little more interested in that concept to see all these other bosses come through, because it kind of feels to me a little bit like, oh, it would be kind of fun to do a Mega Man stage that had other of the Mavericks from Mega Man X, yeah. or to do a you know a Mario stage where maybe P. Piranha or the giant blooper or something else like kind of comes into the mix. Um, the characters that you wouldn't necessarily want to see as their own character in Smash. That said, I would love Giant Blooper. Um, not not regular size, don't give me that. <laughs> but it, it was kind of a neat use of that. Pikmin has so many great inventive enemies. It would be kind of interesting to see like uh, well, there, some of those. You do get those enemies in, in the like Secret Garden or whatever. <laughs> Secret <laughs> Garden. <laughs> right, Secret Garden, of course, yes. I know it too, my boy. Garden of Hope, uh, okay. that's what it was called. Um yeah, I, I, I just like the idea of like introducing the bosses or characters you actually can fight off was a little more interesting to me. Right. I kind of I kind of liked it in the context of Castlevania. The, the uh, mystery. Oh yeah. Oh no. Well, that was during the that was during the reveal of Castlevania. They had a couple. They had two bosses that were like in silhouetted behind the window. Oh wait, in the in the Castlevania. <laughs> He's in the castle? Is he lost? Or he just wants another kingdom to come? I mean, he's kind of gothic. Yeah, it, when you um, when you um, watch the Castlevania trailer, they like hint at the they hint at two other bosses, but they're like silhouetted behind the like the like stained glass window of the castle. Um Got it. I got to go back because if it the Mass Bra or Brax yeah. Mass Brax Brax Bra- Brax Bra- Brax Bra- Brax Brax that guy? <laughs> yeah, Ma- Maxi Braxy. Sorry. He would be a great. He would be a great stage hazard at the. You know, if anything. Yeah, no, I like that. Um, okay, so that we've touched on that now. We've talked about Dark Samus. We talked about the the Castlevania characters. We're not so hot on Crom, but whatever. He's there, and that's fine. And we accept anyone here, except for please give Crystal some clothing. And then King K. Rule. So I want to give. I think maybe Matt. It was you yesterday who who brought up the idea of uh, it within. The context of the direct, what are we going to get trolled on? Oh yeah, I, right? I, was, I was saying that something something's going to happen. We're going to get trolled for sure, and this was fantastic. And this was, and I, okay, so I have a working theory, a little bit of working theory on this one. Okay, so because this troll is is twofold, there's a meta element to it. So obviously the the key troll is in. For those of you who haven't watched it and somehow have decided to watch our show, there's literally zero people except for I guess my mother. Once again, thank you for listening. But like, so in the context of the direct, you get revealed as if. We have this new character, and then Psych, it's a character we already know, and the character kind of knowingly laughs at the screen, right? Knowing right. Uh, that he's trolls. And then, no, that it's the bait and switch. It's the, uh, the, the triple agent. We're back to uh, this new King K. Rule character to be in the game. So it's very exciting. Cool, cool to see him. Definitely, definitely. But but this is what I want to just touch on briefly. So it's been going around on Twitter, and there was an article I think on Polygon, but about the chairs. So oh, yeah. Sakurai turned the direct in the background. There are two chairs, the, a purple and a yellow chair, seeming very intentionally to be a reference to Waluigi, a purple and yellow character who is not in the game. And you guys have brought up yesterday some funny ideas. I think Andrew had said like they put Luigi in the alternate costume of Waluigi's troll, which would be. Um, and this felt similar. And he's already said publicly and had said back on the Wii U on the Smash 
on the boards in the Miiverse, like, oh, he's an assist trophy. He's not going to be in the game. Like, made some joke about the fact that he sucks, because frankly, he does, um, but maybe lovingly so. But the fact that it's in there, you know, it makes me think, like, they weren't they weren't willing to full troll DDD or King K. Rool with DDD, right? They, like, did the troll moment, yeah. but they still like, nah, we get you guys. We're still going to give you the thing. And then it's like, are they trolling us with Waluigi where it's like, uh, they're trolling us, they're having a good laugh about it, but then they're still going to deliver on it, you know? Because I feel like... <laughs> Those chairs, uh, yeah, Waluigi is definitely that, that still there. That chair looks more... It looks, they look more Splatoon colors than anything, and it looks more, like, <laughs> lime green. Um... <laughs> Which, if, I mean, it is, th- if it is yellow, great, but I, I really don't think that's why. I think that's just such a, like a total okay, cause Nintendo I, cause internet Because I, I, see, I see black and, black and blue. Oh, God. <laughs> is this turning into a real color? <laughs> this is it. Um, the, I, I think it's a real troll. They've made comments, like jokes about it in the past. I, so that's my take on it. And I think it, if it isn't, there's like an element that I do enjoy, but it's like a little, it's a touch mean spirited if it's just the trolling without the delivery of Waluigi, right? I, but he is an assist trophy. I think it's funny. But then could you bring Waluigi in in a different outfit? Could his like Mario Tennis Aces outfit be the assist trophy or the main character and the other one's like the alternate? Because consider how many Marios we got in this thing. This game's lousy with Marios to begin with. You know what about some, uh, about <laughs> that? You got, a, you got, a, you got one in there with a PhD. <laughs> right. I just think it's so, it's so funny because... We 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 know it's what's happening. We know Waluigi is uh, is not gonna be in the game as a character, <laughs> and this is just Nintendo fans trying to find find things. And they always uh, try. I don't want to. Okay, so we talked about this. Well, keeping this a little bit of a shorter episode, I want to say something that was a highlight for me was I did appreciate like Matt. You said the music. I liked the like the kind of shuffle of you can play as multiple characters, like kind of the Mm-mm. go in with yeah, right the multiple yeah. multiple fighters. I can't exactly remember what the mode is called, but there's also like you can choose multiple stages and switch between them. Well, there's a couple of things, right? So there's the one where you pick two stages and they fade into each other. That's fun. Then there's the right. other one where you're you're playing and you can only once you've played with those characters after that that game is over they fade away and no one can pick the same character yeah. again and it kind of right. shrinks down right. and i like that a lot because it's like i think all of us we all have a main right everyone go around and say their main right now everyone matt start with you uh it's it's been between uh Andy. villager and oliver okay so right there my points per event danny um link <laughs> although in this match it'll probably be young link Ooh. All right, a lot, of, a lot of good straight answers from me, boys. I respect that, Andrew. Okay, I was a, and I was a tune tune linker myself. But the point being, it's like we have a person we love, and then like kind of Matt brought up. There's always like a few others, right? And then like at least for myself and our buddies, like I feel like there was some. Andrew and I, we've never talked about this, but I feel like now's a good time to kind of be more open about it. But it's like everyone kind of gains ownership of a character, and then it's like to some degree you're kind of just standing your turf for it. Like you are that guy to some degree, like. You're not going to play and have everybody be Samus. Like, if you win with Samus, there's, like, a little bit of an unwritten rule where it's, like, y'all better go pick Yoshi because, like, there's no there's no other room here, you know, in the Brinstar depths. But for... I like the idea of, like, being forced to shuffle up your characters, see who's the best with each one, right? You're going to... I like to think I have some experience, you know, um, with each character. Right. But like kind of a good way to force that, especially, like, we Fit character or the Me Fighters character is that I will... Ne- if I ever even get forced to do that, you know I'm rage quitting. Pulling the cords. If it's if I'm playing I, in handheld mode, I'm plugging it in. It to, is really cool the, how they the are. TV and then pulling the cords. They're forcing a kind of av- not forcing, but in a way, they're introducing to average players this like type of tournament play that really only you know um, hardcore players really experience at tournaments like this, where they do have to pick certain characters. And we saw it in the Nintendo um, Invitational during E3, where. Right. You know, people were picking characters right off the bat and trying to guess who other people were going to pick because these, these these guys have been playing against right, each other. Right, yeah, the forever. counters. And, and, you know, it's, it's cool that that's baked into the game in a way that you can now strategize against that buddy of yours that you always play against. And you know, like, oh, I got it. Like, it's, I'm sacrificing my win potentially in this game by taking his best character because I might not be that great with him. But at least I'm I'm 
preventing Danny from using Link, and that is worth it to me. And just to see Danny be like, "Come on, why could give it back?" That yeah, just crush him. Right, it's great. I think that's a it's cool. I'd be interested to see how many people use that feature. Yeah, even more dreams down the tube right away. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what ultimately what gaming and friendships all about. Yeah, last week at the um, at Evo there was for Wii U right the matchup ended up being Bayonetta versus Bayonetta, and everyone was like very salty about it. Like uh, like a she's very good, but then B it's not like a super exciting matchup and this type of scenario well yeah exactly this encourages that variety and also mandates it uh, i do think that's a really cool mode and it was yeah neat to see those little little tweaks all in all but to kind of pull the episode together let's talk about we each gave it the scores at the beginning i was very bullish on it i think it was a short condensed a lot more characters than i expected thought everything looked good very excited about castlevania representation uh in the modes so I, but where do you guys feel like there's room to grow still? They have mentioned that there's still going to be more characters. And also, what would be your feedback on this direct specifically? So who wants to kick us off? Wow. Mm-hmm. That, Van, Van Dam. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I think that that's... When I think about Smashes, right, and I, I feel like... A lot of people have said this about this game. It's it's always kind of for me a encyclopedia of like all things Nintendo, um, mm-hmm. and I feel like we've been seeing them really embrace that um, about the game with how the ridiculous number of stages, nine hundred like compositions of, of audio. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty right. That that to me is really exciting, um, and I think they did a good job expressing all that. Now I'd like to see. Um, some really unique stuff done with, um, you know, just some some other modes of play. Like what I want to know what that mm-hmm. mystery mode is on the on the front. Uh, a little pixelated. Yeah, third. yeah, on the main menu there, it's all green and mystery, mysterious. Like I, I don't know, maybe it's online, and they're going to introduce it with yeah, Nintendo we- online stuff. But um, I don't know. I think there's just still something missing that was like really going to make this game like unique to the other ones aside from all the characters and some of the new characters and all the like big numbers of things that they packed into the game what specifically Mm -hmm. about it is truly unique um i don't i don't know that's been answered yet so that's where i think they can improve yeah i would say just kind of on that on the mode there's some speculation game explain had a video based on some people on twitter but basically that it looks like the word says spirit, something about spirits. And that's checked by kind of the way in which it's blurred and also cross-referencing it with the Japanese uh, translation. So spirit has something to do with that. Hard to say, but yeah, I agree with you. You can I play mean, spirit I tracks think, actually through in the game. You can play spirit tracks. It's just like a new like HD version of spirit yeah. tracks. So everyone's the unanimously best, uh, best Zelda game and best conductor game. Uh, no doubt about that. But the, um, yeah, I would agree. I think Matt, you brought up yesterday because I was kind of uh, mentioning, bemoaning a little bit, like all of the modes in the Wii U one being like, to some degree, it feels cluttered and that it kind of hides the good stuff. But you did bring up the point that I think is valid and definitely the mentality of like, oh, it's the ultimate one. Everything's here. I do wonder, you know, I think it is tough because it's like, to have it be unique and also at the same time be the ultimate version? You know, I don't know how you fulfill necessarily both of those requirements. I would almost be excited to see after this for the next Smash game something that really kind of goes back to maybe reevaluating what Smash is or what other forms it can take or kind of mixing it up, you know, a little more. Um, Nintendo tends to be fairly creative with their properties like that and it would be interesting to see. But at least for this one, it seems like it's just going to be everything you love and just a lot more of it. I cannot believe there's over 100 stages. That's just, it's just crazy down to me. Yeah, it's insane. And that's and I I love that kind of stuff. It's just like and you can just jump on and play, and you never know. Like, but it's 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 so cool because, I mean, all of us have been playing these games for a very large part of our young adult lives and teenage lives, and even before that. And none of, a lot of these stages are gonna be feel so familiar and new still. And it's just weird to think to be able to, you know, you go into a game and. Think about how many times you've played Mario Kart to the point where you like know every little thing about every track. And I wonder how long it's going to take to feel that, given that half of these or more than half of these stages are things we've played before in the past, so are going to seem familiar mm-hmm. right away. And the ones we're going to, you know, I'm looking for the ones that we're going to get to learn and like be right. in for the first time and, mm-hmm. you know, kind of get the nuances of. Um, 
but I mean, I'm excited for that. So the more stages, in my opinion, the better for for party gaming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Danny, what would you say would be your critiques or criticism of this, and what do you want to see? So my, my critiques, I gotta be honest. Um, I, you know, up until maybe about 20 minutes ago, I had no idea what Castlevania was. Um, <laughs> That's all right. So that was like a cool like the um the cinematic footage was cool and then i was like mm-hmm. great uh who are these guys uh so um there's that i mean yeah i got king k rule cool proud of myself but like none of my other predictions came true um so there's still room for it there's still plenty of time for like another direct for like and even some of the more believable ones like an arms um like mm-hmm. maybe something um, like Pixie Kong, um, maybe something like, maybe I, I still kind of feel like a Minecraft or something would be like a good tie in and also a good, like partnership status, little kind of marker there between them and Microsoft. Um, and yeah, do I still hope for Spyro and Master Chief? Of course, but like, I'm, I'm starting to lose hope that those actually happen. I did love learning more about the production, you know, behind the scenes as much as was it 34 mm-hmm. tracks alone just for the Castlevania stuff. I'm like, did the right. did the original Super Smash Brothers even have 34 tracks total? <laughs> <for> all characters. <laughs> um, right, I'm like, right. That is insane. Like, how many different musicians do they have to have going for this? Like, for so long. Um, I like the morphing stages. Cool, nailed it. Um, I think that'll be fun. Um, so, like, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, I really loved. You know, I love hearing how much uh, Sakurai puts into this. But like you said earlier, mm-hmm. I do hope he's genuinely not actually killing himself trying to do this. I know. It's like, let him let him go free. Exhausting. Seriously. I mean, you know, just exhausting himself so much. Um, so I think I'm maybe too casual of a gamer because I like, other than King K. Rule and maybe some of the production stuff, I was like, eh, it was an okay direction. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay, so the exact characters were not quite as exciting for you. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, love... I have a great love for Castlevania. I know Andrew does as well. And the, you know, they were kind of those big, they, it was a big property back on the original Nintendo, which they want us to say the NES, um, but for the NES. And even in the uh, cartoon, there was uh, Simon Belmont was one of the featured characters alongside like Mega Man and um, right up there with all the other like Pit and the other Nintendo properties. So they've always kind of, I think, valued it that way. So in that sense, it's cool to see and they have kind of their iconic designs and you know i like that about it but i i do definitely understand those uh yeah those feelings the uh, uh, yeah it's hard to it's hard to say yeah in terms of where you know where exactly is it that they they do go but i think you bring up an interesting point that i do like where it's like when you bring up like the microsoft bit right whatever characters they announce next you feel like have to be bigger they can they have to like end on a big note oh, right 100%. i don't i don't think the next next you figure we might get one more set of announcements i just don't think they could do it and have it be just like uh, Dixie Kong. I'd be like, all right, right, see you guys in December. You know, I feel like a she big one has to be coming. She, she could be like right, one of the with first a small characters one. in the next direct, but like, I don't know. They'll, they'll definitely open it, yeah, yeah. With, with someone and then yeah, close with it with somebody. One. Yeah, like the, the but I just think, yeah. someone would just like, King K rules cool, but it's got to be like someone, I don't, and I don't even know who. Personally, it would be Spyro for me. I don't know who it would be for the masses, but the next one they'd have to like, knock it out of the park where you're like oh um i'm the remaining two million people in the world who wasn't gonna buy this now waluigi now. Like, waluigi you know, would be mm-hmm. i don't think i think that would be the fan service that would, <laughs> okay. yeah, i mean so would so would goku and shrek but yes i i just think yeah whatever they do has to be like the big the big one uh for the for the next thing they end off with and i think minecraft steve or Banjo and Kazooie as like Microsoft uh, things. I think that would be yeah, definitely. Yeah. I can see it coming. Yeah, it would, I think it'd be awesome I think it'll end too. with a, a sur- like a surprise reveal um, partnership. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Because honest, honest to God, outside of like maybe some Arms characters or like some of the Squid Sisters and stuff like that, you are kind of running out of like iconic Nintendo characters. Frankly, it's like so packed. It's hard to point to things the, where the there's thing like a is, really though, obvious omission. I don't know. It's like it's true, but I think they Smash has thrived on putting non-iconic me- like members into right. the game you know people that i mean rob right the ice climber <laughs> i guess rob, he's iconic in his own way game but, and watch yeah. um game and watch and yeah for sure relevant in de- decades i think i think that stuff is mm-hmm. cool like if 
if uh, obscure Nintendo characters that like kind of make their way into the game. Yeah. Um, Lanky Kong still holding out. Yeah. Oh, Lanky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Well, I need the Langster. I was going to say, I was going to ask you guys, do you feel that anything's going to be left um, to be revealed while playing the game? Or are there going to be characters post, that... Post-launch. Like, yeah, you're you're playing the game, you've beaten it, and you un, you finally unlock the final character. Is that going to be a thing? Or is this a, no, you get it all up front deal? Oh, like, will they do another one of those? You were talking about it earlier. Um, like, challenge, Challenger approaching, and you have no idea who it is in the middle oh, of the game. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant, like, a mm. post-launch, like, they put out, like, a survey. I think hey, Sakurai said that, that we're going to know everybody know. before it comes out. I think DLC is still possible, but I think today he said that each character will be revealed now. Okay. Um, I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, those surprises would be so short-lived, right, in would. the age of the internet. They I mean, the be. second it comes out, people will know. So you might as well have let them control the message. Characters on the mural? Like, are we at, what is it, 68? Well, so they definitely, let's talk about that mural. Because I really enjoyed that scene at the end. Mm -hmm. Because prior to, like, literally just before it started, I was thinking, like, maybe there's some room there on the right. But they obviously, this is a canvas that they can move and add things onto. And they definitely opened up spots, you know, for King K. Rool. That was a massive space. So it was a, (laughs) yeah, Dark Samus was, like, pretty much, uh... Just like yeah, it was yeah. There was a couple that were like, oh, I, that that could have easily been overlooked, but um, I definitely see that expanding. Um, mm-hmm. And I love how they do that. I love I love the the art. I know we talked about this on another podcast, yeah. but I'm really no. It's very it. it's very Sistine Chapel. I'm sure uh, right. Michelangelo, whoever went back and would would add people in occasionally whenever there's a new reveal, <laughs> a new Vatican reveal, yeah, um, new Pope, sneak him on in there. <laughs> um, but yes, I like that too. I think that is cool. It's cool they've been consistent with that, and exciting to see. Now let's just do one to end it off. Uh, Andy, are you still with us? Are we still? Are you still amongst us? Uh, okay, so well, to to finish us here, what would you guys say? We're at how many characters now? That's what. Uh, that's what I'm. Uh, I haven't seen the final count, including today's. We have top men still still cracking the numbers, still still oh, punching the numbers. Sixties top men. Sixty-seven. 67 so that's not what, how many more do you, that's actually not including echo fighters so my god so we're 70 ish right yeah then 71 yeah, cause three or four characters have echo fighters so yeah we're we're at or above next 70, we have yeah. we have daisy lucina richter dark samus there's also pokemon trainer which is three characters in one is that oh, i know there's like really rookie and no one's listened this far in a podcast to correct us but is are those characters actually still four and one, or is can you? I don't think you can play any of them individually. Can you? You have to switch, but then you don't get punished for not switching back. So you you could yeah. switch at the very beginning of the match and then stay that same one the whole match. But you can't play like just Charizard and have a down B, right? There's that is you'll always lose a down he B. No longer has that like rock smash thing. That iconic Charizard move, rock smash. Right. Yes, right. agreed. Yeah, that was, <laughs> the, um, I remember the first time <laughs> that was a great a choice Wii U version. I'm like. Charizard was Rock Smash? What the hell? Rock Smash? And, and I'm going to teach him that. To nail me in the comments if it's not Rock Smash and it's another Rock Attack, but I'm like, no, it is. You're safe here. <laughs> We're only going to get nailed on the Marth Roy debate that Vander just threw us right into where they have this. <laughs> Listen, Roy's the same move as Marth. It's like a wolf versus fox, okay? They do a little slightly different damage, but the same thing. Oh my. Oh my. What Fox completely different moves? I mean, a little bit of a stretch. Okay, the um. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go straight for the punch. You do. Have, he has got to respect that. Okay. How many more characters, Danny? How many more characters do you guess? Total. I mean, I don't know how many more. Like, what? What do we think they're going to cap off at? I'm thinking only three more. Like, in that three. Okay. If we're including Echo Fighters, four more. Like, I feel like they're okay. For the amount of work they've already put in, I'm like, you you guys are running on fumes right now, and I appreciate it, but, like, man, th- this is a lot of effort. So I'm, I'm thinking four maximum. I'm going out on a limb here. I'm, I'm saying this is the ultimate Smash Brothers. I think we're going to get another oh, one of those number, like, you thought there were 70 to do-do-do-do. characters. There's actually <laughs> three, four, five, ten more characters. Like, I actually, I mm-hmm. do think there's going to be... Wh- I think we're going to get surprised with um, hmm. six to seven new characters. 
and they're just gonna like bust them out in one final like direct of just like and this character and this trailer um mm. i think there's a lot of characters that they could reveal still another pokemon character potentially uh lugia in there yeah he's been he's been crying for his time yeah I got Lu- where's lugia at? is he on, he's still vacationing arms definitely is gonna get a character plus an echo fighter i think that makes right, sense right. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think your ceiling buster thing is a good prediction. I mean, they really do love yeah, that. I, it's just tough. And there's no Waluigi. I think this will go from friendly trolling to just like, <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah, but not. Yeah. Mm. I know that was cool. The Monster Hunter thing was cool too. And we had Shovel Knight assist trophy. That was neat as well. So a good, yeah, good Shovel Knight looked good. Shovel Knight and is how many more characters do you guess? One. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go for three three totally new and then six total, so three and three. Um, but it is tough with Smash. It's like each thing we're given, it just like opens the door for like, well, if this is possible, then like what else? You know, it's like every time you're given more of a gift, it's like, but what else could there be in there? It's like, right. now I want this and this and that. Like it's, yeah. it's totally unwinnable. Maybe Here we are talking about the other things we'd like. And... Smash fans, yeah. <laughs> nope, Absolutely. Nope. They, they should have named it um, Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Mediocre or something. Or, <laughs> yeah, like, you're right. They the brought this on ground. themselves. I totally agree with you. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Well, that. Thank you so much for joining us for another Nintendo podcast. This has been episode eleven, where we react to the Super Smash Bros. Direct. Boys, react. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. I appreciate it. It was fun being here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, Danny, um, we're so happy to have you too, and you're you're doing a great job. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks. Appreciate it. And also, thank you for being our newest subscriber uh, on the YouTube channel <laughs> as well. And, and with that, please do Patreon. not forget. <laughs> and the Patreon, yes, and the PayPal account. Uh, thank you so much uh, for listening. Please follow us on the Twitter at ANP Podcast. Follow us on YouTube at Another Nintendo Podcast. And we're also on iTunes Podcast, uh, Google Play Store, as well as Stitcher and all your other favorite radio podcast services. So with that, uh, uh, be, be, be good to each other. Bye. <laughs>